Hey guys, and today we're going to be using this to make some artwork. I'm being very creative. It is finally arrived at last. The Jazza Pro Art Series Illustration Collection. And oh boy, is it cool. I can't wait to get my hands on this. This is going to be cool. So pretty much about, I think it was last month, I think, or it might have been the beginning of October or the end of October, I'm not entirely sure, I can't use that the exact date. Jazza had announced that he was releasing the Jazza Pro Artist Series Collection Illustrator Collection. And I was very stoked because I hadn't got my hands on the first one because I missed it and the second one because I had to get a computer and stuff in time. But anyway, I was very happy to hear that now he has this one. And I'm very glad to finally have gotten one of these. Oh, we're going to have some fun. And especially because I have never used one of the mediums in here, the markers. I have never used markers. All the stuff has came from Special Noir. But one of the things, like I've said, the markers, I haven't used the markers at all. So, especially proper ones. So this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. So let's have a look inside, shall we? So what do you have in it? Well, let me tell you. So one of the things you get in the box entirely is you get a thank you from Jazza Inspector Noir, which looks pretty cool. Jazza posing, as always. You also get a stickers. I'm really happy you decided to <laughs> So, let me show the other things we have in it. We have, of course, the markers themselves, which have the trays already inside, so you don't either have to put the markers in myself. Thank God for that. So that's pretty cool. Looking forward to using those. We also have the art itself, which looks really cool. We have uh, different artworks that he's done in the past and future of different ones, so I'm looking forward to see all the ones with that. I got a quick glance. I can't quite remember exactly which ones are in this. But they all look really cool. We also have some marker paper as well. 20 of these, I think, I believe. So that's really cool. So we have the exact material we need to draw to get started, which is fantastic. So we also have the colored pencils, which are as well, which look fantastic and come in a lovely tin as well. I really like that. We also have a rubber, of course, and we have two pens, two graphite pencils as well with a 2B and HB. Fantastic. And the last thing in the box is we have the art liners as well. We have six of these in six different sizes. We have brush with 0 0.8, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. Fantastic. That is very useful indeed. So now that I've told you everything that's in the box, let us actually make something. But I think I need a little dabble in the markers as I not actually used them before. So, you know, a little dab with them, then I know what I'm working with since I've never ever used them before. I've done pencil drawing and some other things, but not with the markers. So and I haven't, and of course, it's different from when someone tells you they're cool and awesome, but actually having them in your hands and using them, they may actually, you, once you understand how they feel, then you kind of get a grasp of how to use them and how to approach them in a way. And that's how I learn. I learn by doing, not by seeing or hearing. It can give me a little bit of like, okay, here's a rough idea. But when you actually physically got it in your hands, then you go, okay, I know what I want. I know what to do and what not to do. So let's dive in. All right, here we go. So before that we do an art piece, like I said, we need to test these out because I've never used these markers before by Spectrum Noir. Picked by Jazz himself. These are the colors that Jazz has said would be very useful to have if you've never done with mar things with markers before, which I really haven't. I've used markers in the past, but not these ones. So these should be pretty cool to try. Now I should mention when I said I have used markers before, that was a long while ago, and not to this higher quality either. These feel pretty good. I really like the feel of these. So they come with two ends. They come with a small end, and they come with a brush end as well. So 
that's pretty handy. So if you've got like maybe small little detail bits that you don't want to go over of little bits, you can have the small bit. But maybe if you want to go with the, you can use the other end, which is a brush tip, which feels really good. I really like the brush tip. It feels really good. You also get a blender as well. That is very nice to have indeed. So pretty much I have a little go at these because I've never used them before at all and at first I'm a little bit hesitant because like I said, haven't used these before. It's been a while since I've even used markers of any kind. These feel great. These feel really good. <laughs> but I am a little bit hesitant because I'm like I don't want to put too much pressure on them but then when I find out actually put, you can put a good amount of pressure on them which is great. I like that. That's really good. Um, I kind of go and have a little shot of kind of each color a little bit, bit of the blue, bit of the red, bit of the green, and just trying a few things to see which actually works and which doesn't. I also kind of decide, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, let's start using the fine liners and start using this. I'll do a little rough sketch of the pencil work and draw foolish because why not it's been a while you guys have seen me draw foolish let's draw foolish it's the perfect little test since i know what he looks like and i know the colors off by heart by now also i have a reference right here obviously you know the plush hat of course i have him so perfect reference so this was a good test because obviously before doing an actual art piece where i'm going to put a good amount of hours in i thought let's do something that'll take me maybe less than 10 minutes to do which is great I really like these. These feel great. And I know I've said that a lot of times, these feel good, but they really do. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. <laughs> you don't want to get an art material and go, these don't feel great. These feel a bit restrictive. With well, these, oh no. These aren't restrictive whatsoever. All right, I think now that I've tested these, I think it's time that we get the art prompt itself. Let us see what we get. Ah, not bad. Okay, old war machine. Should be pretty cool. Okay, I gotta jump in here. You may have just seen that some of the pencil work has been done already. It's because I lost some of the footage. Not much you can do, things happen. But it was only 15 minutes, you didn't miss much. So, the thing that we've got to work with is an old war machine. So it's pretty interesting to do. I'm literally looking forward to this. That means I get to test a bit of variety of colours from the markers when we get to that stage. And that's going to be very, very exciting. Alright, now we get to use the other part. The fine liners themselves. And these feel... Well, I've used fine liners before, so... They feel pretty good. I mean, it's pretty much the same kind of fine liners that I've used in the past. Obviously, these ones are special the raw ones, but they do feel really good. Um, this fine liner feels really good as well. I quite enjoyed using this. Um, I need to get back to practice using fine liners a little bit more, but um, I really enjoyed using these. It's quite nice to use them. Now, what was quite handy with having this pack is you get various amount of sizes, like I said at the beginning of the video. You get the small size to 0.5, and you get the bigger size as well. I think it was... Now I'm trying to remember myself a bit. But anyway, you get a variety of different sizes, which you also get the brush one as well. And that one, we'll get to that point of using that. So pretty much as for the drawing itself, you guys know the theme, and I kind of thought, right, let's make this look decayed. And I thought, let's go to the approach, or we have pretty much lost every single bit of him. Well, almost. He still has one leg, still has one arm, but he's lost a leg and he's lost an arm. And what we've also got is we've also got, I've pencil sketched in, little rough kind of pen sketch then a tree and some greenery as well because I want to make this look like this machine of war was at one point it had been in a battle for a long long time ago 
But it's now sitting there, and as things have kind of grown, a tree has kind of consumed what was remaining of his leg. Though, to be fair, I don't know how it's there, but you it looks cool, so that's why I put the tree as well. I wanted to make this look decrepit and, you know, that kind of look. This is also actually the first time I realized actually recording properly doing this way because most of the stuff I've recorded has been digital. So I hope to do more of this kind of stuff in the future. Once I can perfect the camera settings for some reason. Had a lot of problems doing camera settings for some reason. God knows why. The camera was playing up, software was playing up. It was just a fun time. So what I decided that I wanted to add to this, I wanted to add moss, I wanted to add bushes, I wanted to show plants growing out, I drew a flower as you can see at the top of his head. We've also got the tree that's pretty much almost consuming him, it's actually kind of holding him up what remains of this weird machine of war that has just been left to rust in pieces. The other thing I also do is I also draw some other bits of the remains of the robot, kind of in the far in the background, like he was trying, struggling with the last of his power and bits were just falling off, like his arm and parts of his leg. At last, we finally get to try these markers. Ho ho ho, this is going to be interesting and it's going to be fun. What did I feel and what did I like about these colours? That doesn't make any sense. I sometimes don't make sense. You know what, I'm not going to cut this bit out just to show sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about. But what I do know is I I like these markers. <laughs> these feel cool. These feel really good. Now, I, like I said, I haven't tried something like this before. So this is completely new to me, which I like. It's a little bit of a challenge. And I like the variety of colors I had. I realized, wait a minute, I can almost use every single color. I can get a good feel. And that's great, I like it because I get to test these markers. <laughs> One of the things I quite liked is how the blending worked. It works very well, it really does. Um, when going over parts like the rusted kind of parts with a darker colour, it felt really good and it looked really good as well and it blended very well and obviously going back to the crevices kind of show that the rust had kind of poured down other parts of his metal body. It felt really good. It felt really good. I was also, I guess you could say, I was experimenting as well because I'm like, okay, let's try this color. Let's see how this one reacts. Let's see this. Now, of course, might not be perfect, but hey, you've got to learn. That's how we artists progress. It's trial and error. Sometimes things will work, sometimes things don't. Heck, even the part with the, the grass, I was going, that doesn't look right. Okay, let's try the darker color. Let's try that. That might work better. And guess what? It actually looks pretty good. I do all the little individual planes of grass and I'm like, should have done that. I spent way too much longer on that. <laughs> Now as I was getting to the point to the sky, I kind of realised that, I don't know if maybe my one of my blue was 
running out or something. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But, um, well, I think maybe that might have been just how I was using them. But I felt that the sky blue was, I think, slightly, maybe it was drying up already, which I was going... Have I used it for that long already? I don't think so. I guess in a way I was covering a big area, but I was like, it's only A4, it's not like an A3 or anything. It's like, I've not used it that much, but I did kind of go over it a few times, so maybe I might have. But like, if my sky blue is already done already, then I'd be kind of going like, huh, that didn't last as long as I was hoping for. But if it was my lack of use, then I apologize. I can always buy another sky blue. It's not the end of the, it's not the end of the world. Of course, I can't get them right now, just due to the time of the year. What can you do? But yes, as I was filling the sky, it was pretty much going back between sky blue, between the yellows and purples to try and get that kind of color because I haven't... Well, I've done it many times in digital, but when you're doing it in real life, it feels a little bit different because you're like, oh wait, no, I can't do it this way. I'm doing it the other way. You kind of forget your limitations a little bit. Like, oh, you can't do it this way. You can't do it this way. You need to do it. It's like, this is real life. There's no control Z. Oh well. But hey, like I said, you live, you learn, and that's how you kind of get to a point where you go, yeah, it looks good. And then next year, like, that's even better. And there you guys have it. That is the LPs done. And I had a lot of fun with these materials. I really, really did. So my final thoughts, I guess, on using like the markers for like the first time and some of the other bits that I bobs I used. Um, I really like the markers. I really, really like the feel of them. Um, since it's been also the first time that I've actually used markers as well for the first time. Uh, well, maybe not my first time, but using these ones, it was definitely my first time. These felt really good. They feel really good with the blending. The colors are quite vibrant. They look really cool. And as soon as I kind of got into a flow, I kind of got the feel for them. It started to become pretty easy to use them. Um, I will say that I could probably, uh, with a bit more time and uh, practice, I could probably get uh, even better with using the medium. But um, for the first time actually using these markers, the Spectrum Noir markers, I really like them. I really enjoy them. I can really definitely see myself um, getting more colours and obviously getting more in the future. Absolutely. But one of the things I definitely liked is I quite like the fine liners from this selection as well. Especially the fine liner brush. I really, 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 really like that. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I really like that. <laughs> I just loved how fluent it is. It's just a flick and swish. Feels great. I really like it a lot. I can really see myself using it a lot, and I do mean a lot. So I'll probably have to get another one of it. But um, I really liked that. There's even the zero point five one. That's that's even that's tiny. It's so small, but it's really handy to have a really small one and a really thick one. And obviously, the brush one you can do thicker lines and small lines, so you can kind of do different kind of styles pretty easily and I quite like that. Uh, the pencils felt really good, it's quite nice to have more pencils, can never have enough. Now the rubber felt pretty good as well. Uh, the paper, quite like the paper, the paper's actually quite nice. Um, I fairly enjoyed this, I'm really glad to finally get my hands on the box, all the stuff, I'm really happy to finally get one so at last, after missing the first and the second one. First one, it was a bit too late at the time, and the second one I couldn't get just due to um, having to get parts for my computer because my last computer unfortunately died and it was at the possibly the worst time. So, unfortunately, what can you do? Not much you can do, but hey, things happen. But anyway, thank you so much, Jazza, for releasing this. It, this is definitely awesome. I really, really like it. Um, I look forward to seeing what other things I get to the future. So, if this is the last video of the year, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. 
and a happy new year and i guess we'll see what happens next year not entirely sure what will happen next year i'm sure i'll come up with something most likely some big projects who knows anyway i'm rambling too much thank you guys so much for watching i'm green fly village is somewhere i don't know where he is he's somewhere he's somewhere behind me but anyway thank you guys so much for watching me liking my content and supporting me you guys have been awesome this year we actually hit 80 subs that is awesome i really thank you guys seriously i couldn't couldn't thank you guys so much and uh yeah hopefully to bigger and better things see you later guys and thank you